assalamu alaikum everyone and right now i am addressing you all that we need to discuss an important topic that i was thinking for the whole night uh, it was quite disturbing and it has really affected me i was having while uh, i was having a great setback while i read the news and while i was reading a few articles regarding that same topic that's basically of our suraza case that is uh, happening and that is taking place a few days back a 13 year old girl christian girl being abducted and then forcefully converted to islam and then being married to a 44 year old guy so uh, what when we see in the scenario that firstly a crime that is forced conversion is taking place and then a minor is being forcefully married to an old man uh these cases have certainly increased in this time and it is just getting uh like a menace it's spreading like a menace that forced conversions are taking place and the girls are forcefully being married to older guys at one side there are rape cases increasing and at the other side there is this scenario taking place again and again so uh, this is the 13 year old guy a girl won't even be having feelings she won't even be having the intimacy or uh, kuch intimidating bhi nahi hoga jisko dekh ke someone just got uh, turned on or and wanted to get married to her as a kuch nahi hoga but she was forcefully abducted forcefully converted and then forcefully married to that old guy ab isme uh, there are faults of certain people that we can say uh, first of all the faults of the people who justified that nika ab wo 13 saal ki ladki wo 44 year old guy उनका निका तुमने करा दिया इज दैट इवन जस्टिफाइड तुमने लीगली कहीं भी ये जस्टिफाइड नहीं है उसके बाद तुमने वो फोर्सफुली कन्वर्ट किया उस बंदी लड़की को दैट्स टोटली अगेंस्ट द रूल्स ऑफ इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ पाकिस्तान वी से दैट वी लिव इन इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ पाकिस्तान बट टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट नो वन इवन गैट्स द राइट ऑफ लिविंग इन द फ्री स्टेट uh people are living here since is and they have usually been uh facing such issues the people from other communities being it christian being it jews being it hindu they have definitely faced many issues in this country related to forced conversion they are not allowed to practice their own religion and all so uh this is not something new to be very honest but if the same thing happens in a muslim household or in a political or influential household that a girl is abducted from there converted to some other religion and is married to an older guy what will happen the same uh, state the same people the same uh, what we can say political party will definitely be standing on this scenario and will be discussing it in the court but no in this case it's not like that because she is a minority she belongs to a minority a family is crying her mother is crying her even the people who were shooting that video those those were crying and this is really 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 disrespectful to someone and this has definitely saddened me even at this point i don't see any organization uh who has been uh, like Uh, standing for women rights talking on this standing for this no one i don't know why because she is from minority or something like that uh, no political party is taking a step because she is from minority or something like that we don't know but it's time that we stand for it we stand for the rights of minorities and we take a decision if we don't stand right now this will continue this cycle will continue 
and this will be taking place again and again. Today it's Arzurita, tomorrow or day after tomorrow it can be you, your sister, your family members. So we need to stand together, we need to fight for this cause and we need to bring in a change. We are the youth and we need to bring in a change. That's it. Thank you.